hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here please consider subscribing if you like videos like these today i'm going to be reviewing this rosaline 10 piece gel polish kit and this is the nude pink gel polish kit it also has some purple in it and you can find this on amazon i will put the link down in the description box below i also have a discount code so i'll put that on the screen for you so you can use that on amazon when you're checking out also i know that my nails aren't looking the best right now with the gel polish that is chipping off and the weeks old acrylic on the other hand but let's focus on this kit so it comes with some instructions step by step with pictures which is great it comes with some question and answers also some frequently asked questions and boom this is it so when you open the packaging it is so 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 pretty i really love the packaging and it is spill proof because none of the gel polish spilled so this is the swatches i will only do two of them i will only show two of them on swatch sticks just to show you how they apply the booklet did say it's a little transparent it's translucent whatever so you have to apply two coats so i'm just going to swatch these two and show you how transparent or translucent it is then i'm going to show you them all of them with two coats applied Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys that I was adding this clip in when I was opening all of the bottles and showing the numbers and how they look inside of the bottle. So after this clip, you'll see how they look on the swatch sticks with two coats. So as you can see, you get a range of pinks and purples. Now this brand gel polish, it applies so smooth. You're going to see the application on my pinky right here. It applies so smooth. And then they did tell you that you can add two to three coats of gel polish to build it up. And I applied two coats. For the girlies who does press on nails, I think this brand is perfect for you because when you're doing nude and press on nails, even for the French tip, you need a translucent nude. And I think the pinks in this kit, the pinks in this kit are great for that because even with one coat, it doesn't leave any streakiness or anything like that. So you can use one coat and get that nude look. So as you can see, one coat, no streakiness. I'm going ahead and applying the second coat and this is going to make it more full, you know, more bold. Okay, so moving on into the design and French nip. What? into the design and french tip and all of that so i'm going to take some of the same color and i'm going to take some white not this brand this is a white from my local beauty supply store so i'm gonna take that out. oh i didn't put the picture so this is the picture that i i'm trying to recreate so as you can see i'm doing that design right there i'm just outlining where the line should be I'm moving on to the French tip and if you watch my Halloween design video then you'll know this technique. One line in the middle, two at the sides and then I just curve it in and if there's excess that I need to wipe off, I wipe it off.
I'm basically going to do the same thing here again but in white so this is a white French tip then I'm going to add the white lines to this design I don't know what to call it but I'm going to add the white lines here in the purple as you can see from the picture So after doing that, I'm going to move on to the plaid design. Um, I had kind of a hard time, mostly with the colors and the thickness of the line. So for the darker purple that she, well she used green or something like that. So she used a darker color to outline, you know, that design. So as you can see, I put a darker color on the palette, which is still from, still a color from the kit, but it wasn't so obvious that it was darker it was kind of similar to that color so what i had to do i had to mix it with black and then outline it Now for the sweater effect, please, 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 please remember to put top coat on before doing any 3D design because I had to wipe off back everything from all of the sweater nails to add my top coat and this was the moment of realization. You can see where I stop right there. <laughs> so yes, please remember to put on your matte top coat. So after that and after I put on my matte top coat and redo it, I get some clear acrylic and clear acrylic powder and I'm going to you know put it on the design wait a few seconds and then you put more on it just to make sure that it absorbs as much acrylic powder as possible or else it's going to have a it's going to look weird it's going to sink in so yeah make sure you do that so as you can see I just go over it two times just to ensure that you know you get as much acrylic powder as possible Okay, so all the hand painting and all that is done except for this. I'm going to take some top coat and draw the lines where the glitter is supposed to be. Um, I'm going to insert the picture one more time so you can see what I'm talking about. She used silver glitter. I did have that but I wanted to use this purple glitter. I don't think I've used it but I bought it. So yeah. And don't judge me, it's in a plastic bag. That's because the container that it came in got smashed. All I'm doing here is to take out the glitter with a cuticle pusher and sprinkle it over the wet top coat. I did not cure this, it is still wet. After I cured the glitter with the top coat, I brushed it off, brushed off the excess. Then I'm going to use this brush on glue and apply my rhinestones. 
I'm going to do the exact same rhinestone placement as in the photo except for the ring finger because the nails were too short to add you know some of the other rhinestones so I'm going to do the exact same rhinestone placement but I'm going to change the color I use some purple rhinestones and she used silver but I used some purple ones and for the large AB rhinestone the diamond it well it's not diamond it's a kite it was an AB rhinestone not purple so guys this is the final look i love how they came out comment below your thoughts let me know what you think of this design and if you will be recreating it bye have a great time